Hey everybody, welcome to Brick Vault. This is just a fun little episode showing some mini scale falcons that I've been working on recently. And yes, what we're looking at right now is my interpretation of what the new falcon is gonna look like from the solo movie. So right off the bat, you guys can see that it is white. It's got blue accent colors, some highlights that are kind of speckled throughout the body. And then there's something that looks different about the nose. There's very little source material on what the new falcon looks like right now. So I just kind of poured over one picture for a while and figured that the nose is actually just longer and the section that's kind of missing in between that little forked or pronged area of the original Falcon is just filled in and goes all the way to the front. I'm sure there's about a million fan theories already as to how the nose of the uh, Falcon changes from this solo movie into what it looks like from the original trilogy. It's got to get lopped off probably somehow. And also the placement of the satellite dish is a little bit different. It looks like it's almost sunk into the body of the Falcon, kind of coming flush with the armor in the front. The dish itself looks about the same size and shape as the original Falcon. So part of me thinks that maybe it has the ability to retract down into the body when it's not being used and then it gets jammed up or something and so the Falcon we see from the original trilogy just always has an exposed dish when normally it should actually be nestled into the body. Well that's my own personal theory. And either way I think the new Falcon looks all right. I was a little like skeptical or hesitant to warm up to the design when I first saw the pictures but now it's kind of growing on me. Here is the original Falcon, also built at the exact same scale. In fact, this is the original design that I just adapted over to the new version. And this build is actually a direct copy from our friend Miro. He let me borrow his Falcon at the Bricks LA show earlier this month. So I copied over this Falcon because it scales perfectly with the fleet that I'm working on. And in the process, I also built a Rainbow Falcon. I don't know what the uh, exact terminology is here. I've heard people call them the Rainbow Warriors or the Trash Falcon. This is basically the most colorful possible combination of pieces that I could find from my collection of parts and uh, I think it's actually kind of fun. So here are all three of the Falcons that I've got here together in a row. Let me just say right off the bat that I don't believe the design for these Falcons is going to end up in our web store because the design that uh, I copied over from Miro is actually another copy over from another builder, Risk Jockey. I will leave links to both of their flickers in the description below, but suffice to say this design has just been adapted through several other creators iterations and it's possible that I don't even know who was responsible for the original base design of the mock that we're looking at and all the stuff that we put up in our web store is 100% original so if you guys do want to build something like this yourself I'd say just really take a nice good long look at how you think it comes together on the inside it's not too complex or maybe it's a little bit complex in certain areas but Anyways, let's move on to the last thing. I did mention very briefly that there is a fleet that I'm working on. About six months ago, I built Mortis V's GR75. There's a link to that episode also in the description below. And it's just an amazing mini build for this transport ship that we never get as a Lego set. So slowly but surely, I have been working on different fighters that scale properly to this transport ship. So we'll have a fleet that all kind of matches up visually. And right after I finished the GR75, I built this little template that shows off all the different ships I want. So that is the Snowspeeder there, the B-Wing, the U-Wing, the X-Wing, the Y-Wing, and the A-Wing. Right now, I am still looking for the B-Wing as well as the U-Wing, so if you find any designs online, let me know. And right now, I'm just working on Rebellion stuff. I want to finish out this fleet first before I get into the dark side, but I did have to, uh, I have to build a Slave 1 that scales properly, so there's the Slave 1. Well, at least I found a size and shape that I'm pretty happy with. Anyways, that is going to be it for this episode. Thanks a lot for watching, everybody. Remember, if you enjoy our content, you can always like or subscribe, and we'll see you next time at Brick Vault.